Kind of jelly of our parents because they're just chilling in Cabo, but we are having a bunch of fun with Jared and Britt here. Nice job. Thanks. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Guys, I'm gonna start on every single vlog. Buenos dias from Cabo. Look at this place. I cannot believe this is real life this morning. We were just talking about how our only priority and concern for today is making a six o'clock dinner reservation that is approximately in eight hours. This schedule is wide open today, you guys. We literally have nothing on the agenda other than bask in the sun, soak up some of that gorgeous, gorgeous vitamin D, poolside. We're just deciding which pool we wanna be at, which lounge we wanna sit in. The tough life choices, you guys. The ocean is looking absolutely stunning so this morning. Pretty. It's so blue. Love the sound of the waves crashing, you guys. When we woke up this morning, we opened up these windows. The sun was rising. Mindy actually went to the gym early, and I could not believe that this is where we are. This is our view. This I is cannot where we believe live. believe it. This place is amazing. This resort is amazing. The gym was spectacular. I actually saw a guy walking by with a giant fish thrown uh, over his shoulder. No, she got video. I'm putting that in. It is a <laughs> legit ginormous huge. fish over his shoulder. I'm like, what is going on there? Like, is that allowed here? <laughs> That's our dinner tonight. No, tonight is Italian. Food is a big part of this experience. There's a lot of fun to be had. We're gonna go down there poolside. We're gonna chill, lounge. I'm gonna see how long I last sitting still. Bring down a couple cameras, a few things to entertain myself with. Probably get the drone up, show you the entire scenery here. Just the it's absolute so epic stunning beauty. But speaking of stunning beauties, I'm taking this one down poolside. We're gonna lounge, infinity pool, into the ocean, soaking up some sun here on so relaxing. day one, baby. Nine hours later. <laughs> At some point today, I will be having a drink at the bar. That sounds really bad. But let me finish that sentence by saying an underwater bar I've always wanted to do, like a swim up bar and actually oh, sit there and drink it. An orange wedge, please. Obviously going to be a virgin pina colada of some sort, but I am very excited about that moment today. Stay tuned for that. That's also on our busy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> successfully been able to sit here pretty still for a little bit got in the pool swam around a little been here for mom you getting minutes. some sun okay i wasn't gonna say that part it's been 30 minutes i'm ready to go do something oh we got the ruffles out though I have ruffles if we can eat then i'm gonna be good we do have open restaurants everywhere we're thinking there's one over there we want to hit for lunch possibly and then they look like they had almost like a poolside barbecue going i saw no, smoke coming off of like a grill out. i don't know exactly what they were doing we're just taking all this in right now we swam the edge of this infinity pool all the way around ocean waves crashing over there it's just absolutely serene and i feel like like it's pretty empty. Like there's not a lot of people here. We had our pick of places to sit, so we're in the perfect spot. They did say that there's a group of 300 that are here today. This is their final day, so tomorrow going to be even less busy, even which I'm not even sure what that looks like. Because <laughs> it feels like we have the place to ourselves, to be honest. This is the busy day with a group of 300. They've got a big conference going here, a big event going up top. We are at the adults only pool, so there actually aren't any kids. Not only do we not have kids, but there are no kids around. It's very awkwardly quiet and low energy. I think that's probably mom's I mean, Brandon jam. was in the pool doing some like starfishes and <laughs> pretending he was living underwater. I literally was that. like, I'm gonna get kicked out of this pool because it is adults only so that you don't have- I'm not going to the kids pool. You're gonna have to go all by yourself. <laughs> so that you don't have kids splashing around in the water and I was doing just that, but it makes me feel at home, guys. Speaking of home, have asked Jared to include a little bit and show us what's going on at the house so that we can check in on the kids and that way you guys can also get a little taste of that as well. I think now's a perfect time as we sit here, relax, get ready to go to this swim up bar in a minute because I'm yeah. pretty stoked to go drink underwater. You need to drink your water first. I know, mom's drinking water. Drink it did water. bring us like this nice carafe? Is that what you call that? Cool that is, bottle? No, it's just a thermos. Yeah, whatever. They brought us a very nice carafe of water. <laughs> this is an amazing giraffe of water. <laughs> still mothering. I'm making him uh, drink water before he has The mothering never ends. Pina colada. I'm like, you have to drink water with how hot it is out here? You have to. And she made me sunscreen too, guys. This is the worst trip of my life. <laughs> but <laughs> let's go see what the kids are doing. I bet they're having a lot more fun than I am. Right now, we are going to be doing some sick tricks. I just did mine. There's a backflip. Oh, 
this one. It was really cool. Crew's working on his. Boom! Oh! Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Hey! <laughs> Boom! Oh! Dude! About to just send a backflip right now, right here. You got this, bro. Send it. That was sick. Dude, you exhausted? What? <laughs> you exhausted? Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, you might imagine eating big part of the adventure here on vacation, especially when you're at an all-inclusive place where you can eat anything. So we just swam to the end of the infinity pool and they had like this grill set up outside and they had this giant piece of pork that they were just shaving pieces off of. They had steak and burgers and fish and they will make you tacos on the spot to your liking. You can take them back to your chair or we also found out we've got a poolside menu. So Mindy's checking out that right now, looking up some stuff that we want to get. It's lunchtime, so we're, we're eating a lunch now. We do have dinner reservations later tonight. It is hard to beat the poolside food vibe. Still want to go get a drink at the swim up bar. So whenever you're down for that, oh, I'm down. maybe get some food, grab a fun drink. Nachos. Oh, those wings look amazing. Chicken wings? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Sweetie, food has arrived. How are you liking those nachos I by am the pool? In heaven. Right Absolutely now. insane. I have got these Korean barbecue wings. I've heard that they are pretty legendary, so I'm pretty stoked to try those out. I know, seriously. And these nachos? That is a big plate of nachos. I don't know why. If I'm at the pool, I need nachos. I feel like nachos is a vibe. I think that started in Hawaii. Wasn't that a Wahoo? I feel like that was actually yeah. the nachos at Turtle Bay poolside. And I think ever so since then, I feel like we've had to have nachos poolside. So it's just part of our pool eating experience. We did just get a message from our concierge, our Rondi if you will. Laundry. He would like to come meet his poolside, check on our stay, see how things are going, see if we're enjoying ourselves. I think he chose a very opportune time to do that because we are eating by the pool with the ocean just over I'm there. Happy. I don't think we could get any happier than this moment. Is it time? It is. Can we do I, the actual swim up bar? Are you ready yes. to go swim up and get a drink? Because we always do pina colada. But I feel always. like I gotta go outside. Always. Okay, hold on. So you got actual steps here. Oh my gosh, I wanna sit underwater and order a drink. I've never done this before, Mindy. This is an absolute first. Here we go. Hello, how are you? I just want something fruity, virgin. Pineapple something. Oh, I, I don't see, know oh, what it is. A little bit of mint in there. I remember yeah. you said earlier you wanted to try, what was that, a mo mint, mint julep or something like that? Mint julep, those are at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I like Disneyland. This looks good to be okay, Yeah, try it. I was gonna throw in cheers because he's gonna put the cheers it, but. Ooh, that's really good. When you have a minute, could I get a virgin pina colada? And fuzzy navels for all my friends. Thank you. You have to get something different. I do next think before time. we end, I did see somebody going off with what looked like a giant chocolate ribbon down the side. So I don't know what that is. I would try something chocolatey. We got our drinks. We have swam up to the bar. So I've now officially ordered a drink at a swim up bar. That might be the first time in my life, which is surprising because I've had them at resorts time. before, but I've just never it. gone to them. Swam up, look at this. My drink is like in the water, out of the water, whatever. This is really good. I want another one. This already. is very delightfully colored. It looks very refreshing. I know, it's pretty. Bright. It's the beautiful. Mint. This one actually surprised me. I saw the orange and I was like, <laughs> I'm looking around with my phone <laughs> up in the air. I saw the orange and I was like, I thought I got a pina colada, but that's fine if it's got orange to it, but it doesn't. It's definitely pineapple and it colada. It looks really good. Coconut. I gotta try one later. <laughs> but look where we are. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep this rolling right here because this is paradise. our life today. This is paradise. We have the ocean waves crashing just over the edge of the infinity. We've got our hotel, our resort right behind us. And this no pool into this right pool, now. the adults only serenity pool that is just so chill. Look at those waves crashing. That so is serene. so <laughs> cool. The sounds, the sun is so hot. We're just sitting here baking in it with sunscreen appropriately and safely. And drinking lots of water. And drinking virgin pina coladas and whatever the heck that pineapple julep is. <laughs> <laughs> We have had our fill of fun, son. Yes, we Not have. food. We've had a lot of food. We haven't had our fill. We're ready for more. In fact, going back to the room, guys, one thing that's calling us back to the room, and that is candy. Nap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and candy. A sweet candy filled nap. I'm stoked to go back and get some candy. <laughs> so we figured out to push her a pull yet. There we go. Sure have. <laughs> Thank you.
Mindy, this is a magic drawer. We took Ruffles down to the pool and we ate two bags of them. We came back, two bags are back in the drawer. It's a magic snack drawer. And by the way, we brought these ourselves. That's why Mindy's bag was overweight. We just like candy when we go places, so guys. So like my bag being overweight when we came here. Now I'm gonna be overweight going home. That's the best way to go home. We are fancied up for dinner this evening. Ooh. I'm not even wearing a hat tonight, guys, because we learned on our first night here. First Brandon of all, was that guy. <laughs> I don't know that we really fit in at these, called it bougie yesterday, these fancy places. Walked into the restaurant. I know that there are at least, I think, two restaurants on location where you have to have pants. Like, clearly can't wear a hat, closed toed shoes, and that kind of thing. When he means pants, of course, everyone has to wear pants, but he can't be wearing shorts. Right, no, like, have to, like, to be long like a pants. Long yeah. pants yeah. like and closed toed pant. shoes. Yeah, first day I actually bought a pair of pants at the little shop so down bad. here, because we're kind of not buy anything. We're like isolated here. We do have our concierge who could run and fetch pants if we so desired. But I thought I would just get them in the boutique here in the hotel. But I snagged a pair that I actually really like, but it's just one pair. I thought on the fancy night, because I knew that there was a fancy restaurant, Mindy said she brought some fun dresses that I would wear my nice shorts, which I'm wearing tonight. I actually have on my nice shorts right now. These are my fancy shorts. Last night we walked into Frida's is what it's called, and it was Mexican food, and we thought that'll be a fun casual entry into things. Oh, sure. As soon as we cross the front door, I'm just like, this feels oh, way geez. nicer than I'm dressed, because I have on what I wore on the airplane, backwards hat, the dopest, this is how we Bingham shirt. When you're gonna be wearing merch swag out to a fancy restaurant, that's the one to wear. Shorts on the flip-flops, whole bit, cause I'm on vacation and that's what right. I thought you'd do. We walk in and everybody buttoned up shirt. Like I mean, Everyone. every dude a button up shirt. No hats. Certainly no hats. I was like, all right, this is Fancy Pants Town, USA. Might not be our <laughs> scene not the US. necessarily. Oh yeah, <laughs> Fancy <laughs> Pants Town, Mexico, actually. <laughs> is that pantalones then? Is it? <laughs> Anyways, tonight said, I'm gonna step up my game. I'm sorry I failed you. You had to be with that guy last night not who exactly. shows up at the nice restaurant wearing his hat and flip flops t shirt. So tonight, button up collar shirt. Thankfully, I did bring a handful of those. I am wearing the fancy shorts because tonight does not require pants or close toed shoes. Tonight is Italian food. We're going to Luca's restaurant. It is actually right next door to Frida's. Right, reservation is coming up right now. We're gonna go ahead to dinner. We're hungry. Just enjoyed a day of rest and relaxation here by the pool. Spent hours and hours there. Been a very interesting experience being here without the kids. I think that that's the first thing that we notice every single oh, 100%. thing that we do. Just different. Getting up in the mornings, getting ourselves ready and going down to the pool. It's like there's a lot more time. no one else with us. I don't want to say that it's freeing, but there's fewer responsibilities involved. Just taking the two of us somewhere. But we had the awesome opportunity today while we were in the coolest part of the pool. It's the rounding part of the infinity pool that looks out into the ocean, the resort behind us. We were sipping a delicious drink and Ryler FaceTimed us. And was I was so like, cute. dude, of all the times to call, like we are in this the absolute moment. This is the coolest time for you to call. So he popped on, the screen came on and his face just lit up. He's like, dude, look where you are. Both said, we're like, bro, we are having the time of our lives. Like check this vibe out. I turned both sides, gave him the full 360. I said, this is absolutely amazing. But mom and I have both talked about it and agree. It's just not the same without you guys. I told them how much we missed him. As much as we love this, we love it so much more when you guys are splashing right behind us and we're doing contests that you can hold their breath the longest. That's just our scene. That is how we bingham. That is what I do even when the kids aren't here. I just do that by myself. We did tell them, and this is a little teaser for you guys, that there is some fun stuff on the horizon. So as much as you may be jealous that you're missing out on this here, a few short weeks, buddy, you're going to be joining us and it's going to be amazing and we are going to all be in a gorgeous location together. So stick around and stay tuned for that. But for now, gotta yeah. go eat. Our reservation is in two minutes, so we better run. Just downstairs. We're yeah, gonna we make it. <laughs> cooking dinner and little Hazy is the sous chef. She's really the head chef, right? Yeah. What are we making, Hazy? Noodles. Noodles? What did you do to these noodles? I am cooking noodles. I put on the sauce. I'm stirring it. Yeah. It's so powerful. What's in this pan over here? Vench Vegetables. Veggies and chicken. And then some noodles. Noodles. So delicious, guys. You guys need to thank Chef Hazy. Oh yeah. She made yeah. dinner, she made your drink. What do you think, Hazy? Good. Is it good? Is this for me? That one's for Uncle Jerry. Thank you. I'm leaving. 
finished up our meal there. It was fantastic. It was so good. This is like fancy stuff. This was fancy. This is fancy, me. fancy, fancy. We've learned that we definitely, this is not like our wheelhouse. We're not like in our element here for sure. They had a stool for mom's purse. They brought a stool so Legit. that her purse did not have to sit on the ground. I was like, not used to this, not used to this. I was like, this. okay, I can get I, I will say they came up and asked us because there are two families around us and they said very quietly, very discreetly, asked us if we'd like to be moved, if we would like to sit in a place where there weren't families. And we said, no, we, we want to stay right here. We felt right at home. I'm actually going to ask the girl over there if I can borrow her brown crayon so I can finish coloring. <laughs> we were right at home with the kids there, but the dessert at the end wasn't very filling. So we came and found another spot that's got some fun desserts. I got another one of these over there. I got the pink and the blue to complete the cotton candy look. And mom's got a chocolate croissant. croissant. They're about to have like a big concert out here. Listen we thought maybe we would go something good. back to our room up there and see if we can catch oh, their concert. Like Justin Bieber. I'm a believer. You know what I my shoe? I lost the shoe going backwards trying to get that shot. And you just kept going. You I'm gonna keep what? going. I can't stop the shot. There's nothing up here. No, there's nothing. I was like, I gotta go up there one night. Well, this is what there is. I wanted to keep this like glowing blue as we walked into the room. They've come and done the turndown service for that. And we didn't get this the first night they came and tried to do, but we had just we had arrived. Just gotten here. So we're like, no, we're good. We don't need anything. They come and they set an entirely different mood in the room. They turn on just those two lights right there. They allowed a few candies on the bed. There's mini spa reservation right here. They put on the TV some scenic like ocean stuff. Did you notice that your shoes are laid out on a little Oh, not yours, dang, just mine. Not only does mom's purse get its own stool, her shoes get their own yes. mat by the bed. This Sorry. place is nuts. There we go. <laughs> we can't get used to this, Mindy. No. This is not normal. <laughs> We're more of like a <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> That's it from us today. Me and Jared tonight, gonna go see Top Gun. It's gonna be so sick. Make sure to come back tomorrow because we are gonna go somewhere sick. Kinda jelly of our parents because they're just chilling in Cabo, but we are having a bunch of fun with Jared and Britt here. Nice job, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We are gonna wrap this day up. It has been a day of relaxation, but yet- We are so tired. So tired, we're ready to get into bed. It's been a very fulfilling and amazing day. The theme throughout you guys has been like traveling and vacationing with and without kids, and without a doubt, there is nothing like going together as a family. It is our oh, favorite our thing favorite. on earth. A little more work, a little more effort, a little less sleep, but we're still tired either way, so who cares? Might as well bring the whole group. So we are loving our time here, but also cannot wait to get home. It's been fun to see the stuff that Jared has sent over, the kids are doing there, having oh my gosh. so much fun, including you guys. You gotta go over to Jared and Bridge channel and check this out because <gasps> the kids surprise Jared with something awesome today. I'm gonna leave that as an exclusive over there on their channel, so go check that out. It's absolutely incredible, and I think they should be experiencing it right about now. It is late. Go check that out. If you guys are over there watching Jared and Britt's channel, seeing their videos of what the kids are up to, the kids are having a blast. Oh my gosh. I don't think they're missing us for a second. I, Not nearly as much as we're missing them. We are very grateful to see that they are in good hands. We are so grateful to Jared and Britt for watching them while we are gone, so, so that we can have so this great. time. It is amazing to be here together. It's important. Not quite as amazing as being all together, so we're looking forward to getting back with the family. But not just yet. We have a couple more days of fun here in Cabo. So do come back. We love you. Thanks for hanging with us. Buenas noches. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Nine hours later. <laughs> successfully been able to sit here. It's been 30 minutes. I'm ready to go do something. Okay, whatever. They brought us a very nice carafe of water. <laughs> this is an amazing giraffe of water. <laughs> this is the worst trip of my life. But pinkish reddish something I need to take a second. Oh. Gone. Mm. Mm. <laughs>